Till Death Do Us Part, originally titled Umbra, is the 168th episode of the television series Star Trek Deep Space Nine. It is the second of the series' final ten episode arc. Topic <laughs> Plot Kai Wynn visits DS9 and tells the emissary that she will officiate his marriage to Yates, and not the Videk that Sisko chose. After leaving Sisko's office, Wynn has what she thinks is her first vision from the Prophets ever. They say that, the Sisko has faltered, that the Prophets have chosen her for, a great task, and that she will be aided by a guide who has, the wisdom of the land. Dax and Worf continue arguing even after being separately interrogated by the Breen. Worf's jealousy of Julian Bashir is confirmed when Ezri drowsily declares her love for him. Dukat arrives at DS9 and visits Kai Wynn, posing as Anjal Tenen, a Bajoran farmer whose life was spared during the occupation by Wynn's intervention. Wynn believes then that this is the man the Prophet sent to be her guide, someone who has the wisdom of the land. Wynn and Anjal quickly become very close, to the disapproval of Solbor, one of Wynn's aides. Cassidy is angry when Benjamin tells her what the prophets said of their engagement to be married. Despite a discussion with Kira Nares and another vision from the prophets reaffirming their warning, Benjamin marries Cassidy in a last-minute ceremony officiated by Admiral Ross. Wayown orders Damar to go on a trip aboard a Jemadar ship with him but doesn't tell him where. Arriving at the rendezvous point, some Breen soldiers beam in along with Dax and Worf. Wayown announces that the Breen have allied themselves with the Dominion. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> External links. Till death do us part. On IMDb. Till death do us part. At tv.com. Till Death Do Us Part. At Memory Alpha, a Star Trek wiki. Till Death Do Us Part. At Star Trek. Com.